Hey, it's Adia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have been here before. Today, I'm going to kind of continue my law school legal profession videos with talking about studying for the bar exam. I've been thinking about this a lot because one of my best friends from college has graduated from law school and she's in the midst of studying for the bar exam. So I've just kind of had it on my mind because obviously like I graduated law school eight years ago. <laughs> That's something I definitely tried to put behind me after I passed the bar. So I thought it would just be helpful to kind of share my tips for studying for the bar. I took and passed New York and California bar exams the first time for each one. So I'm by no means an expert in bar exam prep, but I do feel like I know what I'm talking about. And so here's just five tips to keep in mind while you study for the bar exam. First off is to follow the schedule that the bar exam prep company has set for you. This is definitely an exam that you should be using a test prep service. Pick whichever one you feel comfortable with and stick to that schedule. These are experts in preparing people to pass the bar exam and I think that this schedule is really helpful. And secondly, basically as the schedule will say, is to study every single day. Unless in the schedule there's like a break. Like for instance, 4th of July, okay, go ahead, take the day off. But basically, study for the bar exam is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So you don't want to be leaving, you know, an extensive amount of material to prepare for in the end. This is not an exam that you can cram for in the last week by any means. This is an exam that you need to be preparing for daily because it's a ton of material. It's so much material that I think it would be creating a an insane amount of stress to try to put off or procrastinate in studying. Third, stick with the study habits that have gotten you this far. At this point, if you're taking the bar exam, you've gone through college, you've gone through law school, you may have also gotten a master's degree at some point. So trust yourself and trust the fact that you know how to study. You've managed to get through over a decade of school at this point. So if you know that you learn best when you have flashcards, then continue to make those flashcards. If you know that a certain kind of music really helps you study and helps you focus, then do that. If you know that you're a morning person and that's when you're most protective and that's when you're able to retain the most information, then study in the morning. Whatever has gotten you this far and has been successful is going to continue to be successful for you. So this is definitely not the time to start from scratch. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Fourth, and I think this is one of the most important things to remember, and that is keep in mind what the bar exam is testing. This is not an intelligence test. It's not an IQ test. It's not a test about your future as an attorney. It's a test to see if you can take a test. I think, especially for exams that are high stakes, we tend to kind of amplify the significance of it. So yes, you do need to pass the bar exam in order to practice law. And if you've already gone through law school, it's probably something that you kind of want to pass, right? So I get it. I'm not saying it's not important, but it's not testing whether or not you're gonna be a good lawyer. It's not testing if you're gonna have a successful career. It's just testing to see if you can spit back this information, and that's all it's testing. When you're answering those questions, don't try to get creative. Like, they're not testing your inventiveness as an attorney. This is not the time to try to showcase a new legal theory. That's not the time for that. It's simply a time to recite the knowledge that you've gained from studying for this test. It's, it's a test of memorization. It's a test of applying principles to different sets of facts. It's not the time to get brand new. And if based on your studying, you're fairly sure, certain that the answer is A, but then you think, oh, if I were a lawyer, I'd do B. No, don't do that. Go with what matches what you've been studying. Likewise for the essays. This is not the time to try to be super inventive. If you think about the test graders, 
they are not going to have time to read every exam word for word and analyze. Would I hire this person as my lawyer? No. They're looking for you to recite the correct legal principles that apply to this case, to this problem. Don't overthink it. And I think that's where sticking to the schedule and sticking to this, you know, the study schedule comes into play. Because if you're very familiar with the materials, hopefully you'll be less inclined to try to get fancy because you'll know the law and you'll know the rules. And my last tip is to be confident. And I think to me, that's why it's extremely important to follow the schedule that whatever test company you're using has set because I followed the schedule. And so that meant I spent hours a day studying. I'm not saying that if you don't follow the schedule exactly that you're not going to pass. I'm definitely not saying that. But for me, I think more than necessarily preparing me, I think it gave me a sense of confidence because I went into the exam thinking, look, I did everything that this bar exam prep company has told me to do. They're the experts in preparing people for the bar, so I should pass. And that's kind of the way I went into it. So it just helped me feel more confident. And that's why I'm a huge advocate for doing everything in the schedule. Along the lines of confidence, this is not an exam where you have the time to read it, put an answer, read it again, change your answer. You don't have time. And so it's really important to go in feeling like you have done everything you can to prepare, like you are in a position to succeed. And ultimately, you're not going to, this test is not going to make or break you. Granted, it would Nobody wants to fail an exam. Nobody wants to have to take it again, but you would survive if you did, right? If you had to take the exam again, you'd survive, you'd be okay. This is not life or death, and it's important to go in there with a sense of confidence and also being able to put this exam in perspective. And I think when you, again, amplify it to be the end-all be-all of your life, it can stress you out, it can make you nervous, and it can make you anxious, and those are not the feelings you want to have when you're about to take an exam. So I hope that these tips were helpful. I wanna say good luck, be confident, believe in yourself, and I think you can do it, okay? <laughs> I did it, thousands of people have passed bar exams. Why wouldn't you be the next one? I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're an attorney, I would love for you to share your thoughts on this in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.